Louis Lazare Hotch, the 24th of June 1768 to the 19th of September 1797, was a French soldier who rose to be general of the Revolutionary Army. He won a victory over royalist forces in Brittany. His surname is one of the names inscribed under the Arc de Triomphe on column 3. Richard Holmes says he was quick thinking, stern, and ruthless. A general of real talent whose early death was a loss to France. Early life Born of poor parents near Versailles, he enlisted at 16 as a private soldier in the Gardes Francaises. He spent his entire leisure in earning extra pay by civil work, his object being to provide himself with books, and this love of study, which was combined with a strong sense of duty and personal courage, soon led to his promotion. Revolutionary Army career When the Guards Francaise disbanded in 1789 he had reached the rank of corporal, and thereafter he served in various line regiments up to the time of his receiving a commission in 1792. In the defense of Thionville in that year Hotch earned further promotion, and he served with credit in the operations of 1792-1793 on the northern frontier of France, including serving as aide-de-camp to General Le Venaire. When Charles Dumouriez deserted to the Austrians, Hotch, along with Le Venaire and others, fell under suspicion of treason. But after being kept under arrest and unemployed for some months he took part in the defense of Dunkirk, and in the same year 1793, he was promoted successively chef de brigade, general de brigade, and general de division. In October 1793 he was provisionally appointed to command the Army of the Moselle, and within a few weeks he was in the field at the head of his army in Lorraine. He lost his first battle at Kaiserslautern on 28-30 November 1793 against the Prussians, but even in the midst of the Reign of Terror the Committee of Public Safety retained Hotch in his command. Pertinacity and fiery energy, in their eyes, outweighed everything else, and Hotch soon showed that he possessed these qualities. On the 22nd of December 1793 he won the Battle of Froschwiller, and the representatives of the National Convention with his army at once added the Army of the Rhine to his sphere of command. In the Second Battle of Wissembourg on 26 December 1793, the French drove Dagobert Sigmund von Wormser's Austrian army from Alsace. Hotch pursued his success, sweeping the enemy before him to the Middle Rhine in four days. He then put his troops into winter quarters. <laughs> Arrest Before the following campaign opened, he married Anne Adelaide de Chaux at Thionville the 11th of March 1794. But ten days later he was suddenly arrested, charges of treason having been preferred by Charles Pichegru, the displaced commander of the Army of the Rhine, and by his friends. Hotch escaped execution, but was imprisoned in Paris until the fall of Maximilien Robespierre. War in the Vendée. Shortly after his release he was appointed to command against the Vendéon the 21st of August 1794. He completed the work of his predecessors in a few months by the Treaty of La Jaune the 15th of February 1795, but soon afterwards the war was renewed by the Royalists. Hotch showed himself equal to the crisis and inflicted a crushing blow on the Royalist cause by defeating and capturing de Sombroy's expedition at Quiberon and Penthièvre 16 to 21 July 1795. Thereafter, by means of mobile columns which he kept under good discipline he succeeded before the summer of 1796 in pacifying the whole of the West, which had for more than three years been the scene of a pitiless civil war. <inaudible> <inaudible> Ireland and Austria After this Hotch was appointed to organise and command the Ireland expedition, of troops sent to assist the United Irishmen in their rebellion against British rule. A tempest, however, separated Hotch from the expedition, and after various adventures the whole fleet returned to Brest without having effected its purpose. Hotch was at once transferred to the Rhine frontier, where he defeated the Austrians at the Battle of Neuwied in April 1797, though operations were soon afterwards brought to an end by the preliminaries of Lieben.
Topic: <laughs> Later career and death. Later in 1797 he was Minister of War for a short period, but in this position he was surrounded by obscure political intrigues, and, finding himself the dupe of Paul Barris and technically guilty of violating the Constitution, he quickly laid down his office, returning to his command on the Rhine frontier. But his health grew rapidly worse, and he died at Wetzlar on 19 September 1797 of consumption tuberculosis. The belief spread that he had been poisoned, but the suspicion seems to have had no foundation. He first was buried next to his friend François Marceau in a fort at Koblenz on the Rhine. In 1919, the French Rhine army buried his mortal remains into the 1797 built monument General Hotch in Weintherm near Neuwied, where he had started his last campaign against the Austrians. <laughs> <laughs> Memorials He is commemorated by a statue in Place Hotch, a garden square not far from the main entrance to the Palace of Versailles, and another in the Pantheon. Another statue, the last major work by Jules Deleu, is in Quiberon, Brittany. In Les Invalides where Napoleon's tomb is enshrined, there is also a memorial to Hotch. A station on the Paris metro is also called Hotch. Hotch's motto was res non verba, which is Latin for deeds, not words. <laughs> 